Hi and welcome back to today's presentation. We are going to look at supply chain management in leadership and management. So our today's objectives are number one, we're going to define what supply chain management is. Then we're also going to list the four commodities that constitute the supply chain and the logistic management in Zambia. We're also going to outline the three reasons why supply chain management is important. We're also going to state the five rights of the logistic management cycle. Then we're also going to explain with the aid of a diagram the five major activities in the logistic cycle. We're also going to explain the four activities at the heart of the logistic cycle. So let us look at our first set of objective, which is the definition of terms. So supply chain management is defined as the planning and management of all activities involved in sourcing, procurement, and logistic management activities. We're now going to look at our next set of objectives, which is list, list the four commodities that constitute the supply chain management in Zambia. So we have number one, essential drugs. Number two, we have the ARVs. Number three, we have the HIV test kits. Then number four, we have the laboratory supplies. Our next set of objective was outline the three reasons why supply chain management is important. So our first reason is it increases uh, program impact. So that's your first heading. So this is achieved by providing a, re a reliable supply of commodities, thereby making more people to use health services. So clients tend to feel more confident about health programs when they have a constant supply of commodities. Our next answer would be enhancement of quality of care. So this is your heading. Then the explanation is quality of care is enhanced because we all supplied health programs will provide a superior uh, service while poorly supplied cannot. So furthermore, well supplied health workers will be motivated to use their skills and expertise fully. Our th third and final answer is so we also have improves cost effective eff effectiveness and also efficiency so this is achieved by reducing losses due to overstocking waste expiry damage and uh, pilferage thereby protecting other program investment so effectiveness relates to the outcome or results of a program or activities hence efficiency is often referred to as doing things right this is not basically wasting resources. Then the five rights include right goods or commodities, the right quantities, the right condition. Then we also have the right place. We also have the right time. Lastly, the right cost. Let us now look at the center focus for this discussion which is the major activities and also the heart of the logistic circle. So we're going to begin with the major activities in the logistic circle. So we're going to begin with number one, saving customers. Then number two, there's product selection. Thirdly, we have quantification. Then fourth, we have procurement. Five, we have inventory management. So there are five. So let's now expand them one by one. So under saving customers, so goods or commodities are selected, procured or distributed to meet the customer needs. So each activity in the logistic circle is aimed at ensuring that the customer receives the best commodity and service. Under product selection, we are saying this is done at national level to select the products needed to deliver quality health care, which in turn are delivered to health facilities. So relevant products must be therefore selected to meet the needs of the client. Then we have quantification. So under quantification, this is the process of estimating the quantity and cost of each product required for each specific health program or service. After the products have been selected, the required quantity and amount of each product must be determined. So correct quantification will prevent overstocking or stocks out. We also have the fourth one, which is procurement. So under procurement, this refers to the action of obtaining required commodities, either through buying or ordering from a central supply unit, 
So health facilities or programs procure from international, regional, or local sources of supply. Then lastly, we have inventory management. So in inventory management, we're looking at um, uh, what is mainly involved. And this mainly involves storage and distribution of procured and received items. So each commodity must be accounted for and also stating its movement from one level to another until it reaches the customer. We're now going to discuss the four activities at the heart of the logistics cycle. We have number one, organization and staffing. Number two, we have budgeting. We then we also have um, supervision. Then the fourth one, we have monitoring and evaluation. So we're going to begin with organization and staffing. So well-trained staff are needed to monitor stocks level, place orders, and also provide products to clients for a logistics system to work well. Budgeting, we are saying allocation and management of funds directly affect all parts of the logistics cycle, including quantities of the products to be procured. Resources must also be mobilized for procurement of the required commodities. Then we have the third one, which is supervision. So staff who work within the logistics system must be supervised so that the work, the work is done correctly. So routine and effective supervision of staff will help to prevent and resolve supply problems. Lastly, we have monitoring and evaluation. So we are saying routine monitoring and periodic evaluation of the pipeline and logistics system. Activities will help in understanding how well the system is working and the areas that need improvement. So this marks the end of this presentation and uh, supply chain management. So this was a special request and I have delivered. If you have any other requests, you can kindly drop in the comment section and wishing you all the very best. Hope to, hope to see you next time in the next presentation and um, research and epidemiology where we'll be discussing outbreak investigation. Thank you so much and have an amazing day.